The Senate Commerce, Science, and Transportation Committee will come to order today. We are having a hearing on the nomination of Admiral Linda L. Fagan to be the Commandant of the United States Coast Guard. So welcome uh, to Admiral Fagan. Admiral Fagan assumed the role of Vice Commandant on June 18th, 2021, where she executes the Commandant's strategic intent, manages international operations, and serves as the lead acquisition officer overseeing the largest modernization of the Coastal Fleet since World War II. She has served in the Coast Guard for nearly 36 years and beginning her career as a sailor on the Polar Star, a 399-foot polar icebreaker, which has since served on all seven continents. She has led numerous leadership and safety positions, including as commander for the New York sector, more than 15 years as the Marine inspector, and recently as the commander of the Pacific area in charge of Coast Guard operations and personnel on the West Coast and Indo-Pacific. She has extensive interagency and intergovernmental experience, having worked with the International Maritime Organization, the International Labor Organization, and she has an impressive science background with a bachelor's degree in marine science, something everybody is excited about here, um, from the Coast Guard Academy and two master's degree, one of which is from the University of Washington in marine affairs, which we're very proud of. And so she is the longest serving active duty marine officer and has earned numerous distinctions across her years of service. But beyond that, beyond that impressive resume, this is a historic moment for our country and for women in the armed services. It will be the first time that a woman will lead one of the six branches of the armed services. So I am hoping that your leadership will also lead to more progress on getting women recruited and retained in the Coast Guard, that with your help and focus on important issues like childcare, healthcare, and education, that Coasties, like your daughter, can have a long career in the Coast Guard. So we are excited about this historic moment and so glad to have you and your daughters, uh, your daughters here. And uh, thank you so much for your willingness to serve our country. And now I'll turn to my colleague.